Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Lubin Bonsejour of Wallingford. Hello, dear friend. Welcome to a new series on our faithfulness of God. My name is Pastor Lubin Bonsejour from ABC Wallingford, and I'm the senior pastor of that church. Look at it in 114 North Main Street in Wallingford, Connecticut. Well, thank you for joining us. This is our first segment. We'll be speaking about God's faithfulness. Our scripture reference is Lamentation 3, 22 and 23, the concept of God's faithfulness. Let's pray. Lord, bless us. Bless us not because we deserve to be blessed, but because you're so good to us. You are faithful and just. We pray that you bless our time today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God's faithfulness is, uh, I'll call it a foundational attribute that really underscore the nature and the relationship that God has with humanity. It's actually signify his unwavering reliability, the steadfastness, and actually the commitment to his promises. Throughout the Bible, we see that God's faithfulness is evident in his creation, the covenant that he establishes, and his continual presence in our lives. In a time of joy, in a time of struggle, in a times of hardship, God is a constant source of source of strength and refuge. The Bible says his faithfulness is not contingent upon our actions and circumstances, whether it remain unchanged and eternal. This attribute is, is most profoundly revealed to Jesus Christ, who fulfill God's promises and offer salvation to all. You and I as believers, we need to understand God's faithfulness. It is important that we see the value that God put in that himself to be faithful to us. That alone encourages us to trust him, knowing that he will always act in accordance with his character and promises. In response, we are called to reflect to his faithfulness in our own lives. We are called to embrace hope, gratitude, and a commitment to living out our faith in a world often wavers. Well, ultimately, God's faithfulness assure us that we are never alone and that his love endures forever. Lamentation 3, 22 and 23. I love the scripture that says, the f- Steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. He says, His mercy never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. What a great God we serve. So, my friend, God's faithfulness is not depending on our circumstances. It does, doesn't depend on our feeling or actions. It is a fundamental truth of His nature. Oh, God is simply faithful, and there is nothing you can do about it. God's presence is vivid in our lives. So, Lord, please allow us to continue to trust you since you are faithful. Allow us to know that you are the God that will never turn your back on us. Thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. You've been listening to Pastor Lubin Beausejour of Wallingford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.